Welcome back. To Tales of Kenya. Can do this. No. Right, Are you all set? Yeah, believe it or not. To be honest, I'm still in shock that you're leaving. You could have given us a little more warning. Sorry. It's your decision, honey. What about Dad? Still fuming. I see. Well, I'm eager to get going. Shall we be off? Yeah. Huh? We've still got some time until the boat departs. True, but Elise and Rowan came all the way here to wish me well. It would be rude not to bid them goodbye before leaving. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Certain this is a good idea. Yes, I have a responsibility to my mission, to the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden. Yeah. You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctagall's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. One of my oldest. So that's the source of your concern. Whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Fretting over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now. Will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. Hey, come with me, Rowan. Does that mean? Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Yeah, Elise, 
Sorry, Louise. Live. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise, I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherilton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not. We are at the wall. Where'd Leia go? I Where did Leia go? Leia would never forgive me if I left without a word. I should at least go and say goodbye. Yeah, where is Leia? Is this Leia? I don't even know. Where is Leia? They are such a point in your eyes of mine. You and Chipo are always together, aren't you? Because we're best friends! And because Chipo's so cute! Uh, really? What? Of course he's cute! Don't you think? Well, I don't no. know. Certainly <laughs> isn't not cute uh, in a way that I can't quite put my finger on. How can you not know? It's Tipo! Oh, it's... It's his little horns. Those are super cute. Those are ears! Oh. For shame! <laughs> You're terrible with kids! I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Where's Leah? Is... No. Leia is here, right? Where's Leia? Where's Leia? Hello, where's Leia? I don't even know what he is, but... Leia! Ayo, Leia! No! Leia! Leia, I don't want! Tell me what. Tell me which stone channel I will have in. Well, hello there. Good day, Master Sonia. Is Leia around? No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. She'll be home before dinner. She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Damn. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Okay. Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. 
You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's gonna get so depressed again with you gone. And then the you'll see her getting depressed and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? Yeah. I feel sorry for the poor woman who's stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and a daughter. Yeah. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? <laughs> Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. Yeah, bro. Where's Leia? I wanted to thank her. This ship is bound for Ajul. Is this part of the plan you mentioned? It is. If you hatch mm. this plan, then we know it will work. You're not going to make amends with your father? Nah, bro. Point, Mom. We're minutes from leaving. Your father is just worried about you, honey. Please understand that. I hate to impose, but would you look after this young lady for a few days? Someone from Sapstrath Seahaven will be coming to pick her up. Can you watch her until then? Oh, she's adorable. Yes, of course. I'll take good care of her. This kind of abandonment could really stunt our emotional growth and stuff and things! Jude! Dad, I've made up my mind. I'm going with Mila. You're not going anywhere with that woman. The thing she's gotten you involved with. Looky here. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? Alvin? Hmm. Alvin? My, my new job didn't really pan out. You know, I still haven't worked off all the money I got last time, so I guess you're stuck with me. You're coming with us? You, you know this man? Yeah. We're old traveling buddies. Alvin! Can you believe these meanies are abandoning us? You poor little spud. Huh. You can fight just as well as they can. Come on, let's bring the kid and her toy along. Yeah, bro. It'll be just like old times. But Alvin... Don't worry, I'll protect her if things get dicey. Come on, Rowan. You're stuck with us, Butler! <laughs> Last call for boarding. The ship will be departing momentarily. If we can't pry people off, I guess they have to come. Well then, uh, uh, what are you waiting uh, for? Uh, Hurry aboard! Yay! It seems I am no match for you. And now you two. Right. Yeah, I better get aboard. Jude! Dad. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Goodbye. Remember, taking responsibility for your actions is part of becoming an adult. What? Where is... This tub's bound for Lakutum Sea Haven. I thought you were heading for Fenmont. You're asking this now? You really do go with the flow, huh? Like, literally. 
I couldn't care less where we wind up. I'm only here to look after Miss Elise. And me, me, me! The man's back together! You're not exactly part of the bargain. <laughs> Rowan, please tell us your plan for taking us to Aju. Very well. I believe trying to force our way through Fort Gondala now would be a suicide mission, to put it bluntly. I saw the fortress's security columns being activated as we were escaping, right after Mila was injured. And those are... They're weapons made by humans using Earth Spirits. Hmm? It would take an entire division of soldiers to defeat those automata, and only if they had a clever strategy. But the Sea Roots to Fenmon are still closed. So if we're heading to Ajul... You mean to cross from Ajul to Fenmont over land? <laughs> That's quite a hike. What do we do about Fezabel Marsh? Oh yeah, that's true. That swamp apparently stretches forever north of Fenmont. It's supposed to be the natural equivalent of Fort Gondala in terms of fortification. Isn't that marsh impossible to cross? Something about the spirit climb being too severe? Most of the time. But the interseasonal winds have blown, which means that Solemn is upon us. That means the spirit climb has shifted from Ephrita to Renom. Fezabel Marsh should be possible. For now, anyway. If you say so. I'm not sure I understand either. Huh. I don't... don't... Uh, in other words... We're good to go if we hustle through the marshes, right? Exactly. In any case, hustling is the order of the day. It seems we have little time left. Why? What's gonna happen? I have received word that even after you left Sheraton, the Golems and Fort Gondola remain activated. This does not bode well for us. It's a clear sign that Roshagal is readying for open war. With who? With Ajul? Why would they want to do that? I must destroy the Lance of Kresnik before it can be used in battle. <laughs> What's wrong? There's a person in there! Huh? Huh. Friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, a real barrel of fun. <laughs> uh, uh, I got so bored waiting in there, I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> then you'll be well rested for the return trip home. Return trip? I'm coming with you. This isn't a game. I know, right? Who are you? This is Alvin, our little buddy. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Leia. Pleasure to meet you too, little buddy. Little buddy? It's okay, right, Mila? I can come along? Hmm. Perhaps. Why do you want to? Wait, seriously? Your strength really inspired me back at the mine. I thought to myself, I want to be just like you. Hmm. You want to win that law? Well, is that it? it? I thought you might say that. Hold on. What is that? I filled this scrap of paper with all kinds of reasons. Take a look. Reasons why you should come with us? Yep, at least a hundred. <laughs> very well. You can come with us. I like you. You're so very... human. You've got to be kidding. Okay, now that it's all official. 
I'm happy to join. Thanks for asking. Close to Niakara? Are we? Don't you want to drop by? Why? I have no business there. Is there some reason you want to go? No, of course not. I just figured the villagers might be worried. They worship you, remember? I appreciate your concern for the villagers' well being, but we have no time for detours. If we follow the Lakutum High Road north, we shall reach a city known as Shandu. We should head there first. Hold your horses. What about that monster that prowls the high road? What's it called? The Lord of Lakutum? My, you are well informed. Rest assured, the Lord of Lakutum is a slave to spirit climbs just like any other monster. Now that we have shifted into Renom, the beast will be positively timid. I doubt it will venture anywhere near the high road. To be scared. But don't expect me to pluck you from the monster's jaws, mm. bud. Right then, let's hit the high road. Here we. You too. I believe we show great promise. I won't let anyone dare. Thank 
That sounds so romantic. What? Saved by Rowan once again. Yeah. I don't even worry about enemy spirit arts anymore. No, oh, I'm just huh. honored that my old geezer tricks could be of use to you. You really are one handy geezer. I feel like we youngins ought to be bowing our heads in thanks. Oh, we should. Thank huh. you, honored elder. Oh my, no need for that. This is getting a little embarrassing. Very well then. Huh. I'll simply pat you on the head. Huh. You did good. Uh, Mila? Rowan isn't uh. a child. That takes uh. me back to my youth. Such happy memories. I'll keep doing my best. What? Uh. It's actually uh. working? Mm. Now shall we begin? Now! Forward! Always one step ahead. Stay away! Farewell! Was this really the only way? All right! For some reason, sunsets always bring back memories from when I was little. For me, it's the ocean. The sound of crashing waves gets old memories flooding back. Interesting. Those have the same effect on me, too. You have childhood memories? Of course I do. Doesn't everyone? I know I'd love to hear them. <laughs> well, if an opportunity presents itself, I'd be happy to share. If an opportunity presents itself? Like when? Hmm. Crashing waves like at sunset. Never. Laurent without even telling your parents, right? Shouldn't you go back home to see them? Your mom's probably still fuming. Y yeah. Yeah, they are go back home. They are. When I see a sunset like this. Is it safe to leave Giselle behind? Oh, I assure you that I'm not the only one looking out for her. The house staff has served the Cheryl family for years, and the citizens of Sherylton are always supportive. It's all due to Lord Klein's fair leadership. It's not just that. Giselle works really hard to stay strong. She's so cool. No wonder she's Ellie's friend. Indeed. We are all quite proud of our young lady Cheryl. 
Let's all strive to make her as proud of us. Expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, huh. folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes, it was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik too. The real question then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? No. Hey. Does that mean you can also use Spyrix to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Rizemaxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything, from a tiny streetlight to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy. And that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four. And anyone can use that power to kill others. Just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. She's right about one thing. Weapons like the Lance of Kresnik must be destroyed. But is Spyrex itself really such a bad thing? Wow. mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. When I see a sunset like this, I can't help but think of dinner. Are we eating soon? Oh. Uh. Uh, 
kind of a five plus. about golems what was that you said about earth spirits golems are artificial constructs created by the rashigal army through earth spirit channeling they can only work within particular spirit climbs but they're very powerful impressive isn't she smart although she did just hear all that from rowan so hmm. she's just the conductor's parrot elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems, and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, <laughs> um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Always Let's go! Roger, green, provide support. Was this really the only way? Watch out! Attack. I will guard Attack. you from incoming arts! I can still do better! mission so this is have healed you must return to the village at once please if something else were to happen to you i don't know what i'd do i cannot return yet i have business in fenmont in that case allow me to accompany you that won't be necessary i have all the help i need from these people these people jude and leia here helped me walk again they can be trusted jude again Arrgh. Nice to meet you. 
He's got some issues, huh? You must feel pretty pleased with yourself now that Lady Mila is on her feet again. Well, I did promise I would help her walk again, and here she is walking. How dare you take credit for this miracle? It was all due to Lady Mila's divine power! It must have been! Maxwell, curse you! I was the one who was supposed to heal her! Uh, sorry? That's right. Beg for your forgiveness, you phony! Atone for your blasphemy! What is he talking about? It would seem Jude keeps the most eccentric company. All of his acquaintances are so... unique. Ivor, I gave you an important mission. Why are you here? I've not forgotten about the defense of the village. And the item you entrusted to me is safe. I have it hidden in a place known to no other. However, I recently received this. Maxwell is in grave danger. You must rescue her at once. I rushed forth immediately. I only just now caught up with you, Lady Mila. Who could have written something like this? I wonder. But in any case, it's mistaken. As you can see, I'm perfectly fu- Ivor, run! Huh? You have got to be kidding me! He looks really, really pissed off! How did this happen? That doesn't matter right now. Just focus. Roger. Rumination phase! Time for a duet! Okay! Time for a duet! Okay! Time for a duet! Okay! Now! Let's go! Ruination phase! Always Stopped it. That was too close! What caused this? I did not expect it to be that active. That wasn't too bad. There's always... I feel much stronger. I'm just getting started. Just keeps getting better. How? You call that timid? I thought you said the monster would be a pussycat now that it's solemn and Renome is here. That should be the case. Unless... With the four great spirits missing, the spirit climbs have essentially stopped shifting. Great. How will we cross Fezabel Marsh to get to Fenmont? Yeah. Cross Fezabel Marsh? <laughs> you people are out of your minds! Only a wyvern could reach Fenmont at this point! Fortunately, it just so happens that I, the redoubtable handmaid, can be of assistance to Lady Mila. You know a way to get there? I have in my possession a wyvern, faithful only to me. I would be happy to transport Lady Mila to Fenmont. Ivor, is there any other way? Huh? Uh, well, uh... uh... There is, isn't there? Tell me. I have heard of a clan in Shandu that can control monsters. They raise wyverns there, apparently. I guess that's our next stop. Onward to Shandu. Ivor, thank you. Ivor? Uh, shall we go? Yeah.
That's the bird that delivered the letter! You dirty bird! When Mila saves the four great spirits, she will need the key in your possession. This will be your chance to beat Jude once and for all. Wait until I contact you again. Then you will free the four great spirits and become Lady Mila's true champion. <laughs> you won't get the upper hand this time, phony! Yeah.